Hi guys, welcome to ET Land, and I had a really bad day, and I think so do you guys. Since Yuzu and Citra are officially gone, we have to figure a way to get our 3DS emulation to be done on our devices, especially when you do not have already had the APK files with you or any kind of uh, EXE files with you that you have to install on your newer devices, then probably this video will be able to help you a bit, but I'm not sure how long we can can get all those forks and copies online so if you are watching this video just make sure you back up all those copies you have to do all those versions on different platforms so that you don't lose it for forever of course there are people being very optimistic about this situation online and there will be always someone who is going to back it up but who knows like we can see that Nintendo is getting quite quite aggressive on this kind of things and I do expect that there will be something happen on Yuzu but not for Citra so who knows what would happen anyways let's get to the point of this video and look at how we can find Citra now so the information is based on what I have on the 5th of March 2024 I'm uh, I'm filming this at almost six o'clock in my local time so there may be some changes i don't know but this is based on what i have right now so first of all if you are finding it on google play of course you're not going to find it however if you have ever downloaded it from google play you can go to app and device management under your account and go back to citra it is under that column uh, probably if you have never installed it it will be in never installed column and then you can still install it but that is under the premise that you have installed it in the past on some kind of devices other than that the citra for android github page is still there so you can go there and grab your citra mmj version the latest update was from last year december and i personally think this is a better version I would recommend you to get the storage access and to do version in order to get access to your storage and so that you can transfer your save data and transfer some themes for your Citra. There is no announcement of the path forward of this GitHub page, but I personally think that it is a better idea to download it for your future use in case anything happened. The next one could be a little bit irrelevant for most of the people, but if you have a modern switch, this is for you and if you don't you can go to the timestamp and skip this part okay so let's look at this uh discord link here this is actually the latest build of citra for retro art on your model switch i've tested various versions of the citra core on the retro art and these actually work the best Using this retro art core will allow you to play 3DS on your HOS or MU MMC. However, this is not the best performing core or 3DS emulator you would have on Switch. I would personally prefer using the Citra for Android if you already installed Android OS on your Switch. And as you can see from the footages, you can tell that the performance is a lot better on the Citra for Android in comparison to the one we have on HOS. So if you have access to installing Android on your smaller Switch, I strongly recommend you to use this one instead. I know this is a little bit of a sidetrack and I probably need another longer video for that but I just want to quickly mention that why I think the Switch is better in comparison to other Android or Linux handheld nowadays. Because 3DS is a lot easier to emulate in comparison to Switch and because of the death of users we are capped here and the development of Switch emulation for Android is going to be very slow in the near future. Although I am made that Odin 2 is very capable of playing many Switch games, still there are many of them not playable, having mo very severe glitches and graphical issues, audio issues, which is not very enjoyable in terms of the experience. 
On the other hand, Switch is the native hardware to run Switch games, and we can also overclock it to have a better performance. So, obviously, the best way to play Switch other than on PC is on the Switch. And I just want you to remember that we can also stream our PC to both HOS and Android OS. Obviously, there are many emulators that are not available on Android at the time being, for example, PS3 and Wii U, obviously. And for most of the PC games, although we have the Windows emulator on Android, those are not going to run well as well. What I'm trying to say is that I don't see the reason of getting a high-end Android handheld anymore. Obviously, first, we are limited to what we have for Switch emulation, and excluding the Switch emulation, the best we can do is on PS2, Wii, and 3DS. Despite the fact that a Switch can play PS2, 3DS, and Wii emulation to a certain extent, which is quite decent, we can always stream them from our PC. Nevertheless, the Switch is capable of handling PSP or any system below that. Anyways, that's just my opinion. Okay, finally, if you are looking for Linux, Windows, and Mac, you can go to this link here. We have a Twitter post which has all the instructions that you have to click, and you can simply click download from the archive.org, and then you will be able to find the latest version and the last version. Also, if you are using Emuldex, the good news is that they are not going to delete the old files from you. So, uh, based on my testing, I am using Emuldex on my ROG Ally, and it still works, and it will work even after updates. The Emuldex team mentioned that if you have ever installed it on your older drive, you can copy the files over as well as the configuration files over and you'll be good to go. And that's pretty much about this video. All the versions that I've mentioned in this video are tested by me, so I've verified that there is no virus inside them based on what I've download it however if you are looking at other fork versions of citra i'm not so sure about that because there is a risk of having malware inside and uh, i hope you like this video if it kind of helped you in the very last part of this video i want to share some bonus footage of my cat because she has been bothering me to film this video and I just want to share how cute she is. So yeah, that's pretty much about this video. I'll leave you with my cat and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!